to add an HTML email signature into Apple Mail running macOS Catalina. So first of all, have your HTML file um, ready and easily accessible, perhaps on your desktop. Uh, launch Apple Mail and go to go to Apple Mail and then go to Preferences and click Signature and we're going to create a new signature and we can put some dummy content over on the right hand side here because we're going to be overwriting that with the HTML code that we've been provided and then I'm going to close the signatures and I'm going to hide Apple Mail then I'm going to go to the Finder and I'm going to go to the Go menu and in the Go menu once I've got that selected I'm going to hit the Option key on my keyboard which is going to make this library folder become available I'm going to select that library folder I'm going to choose to view these by list rather than by icon it just makes it a little bit easier to find what we're looking for I'm going to scroll down to Mail then I'm going to go into this V7 folder and then into mail data and then into signatures and in this folder you might have lots of items but if you sort it by date you'll find that there's a dot mail signature item here a uh, kind of text edit with a time around when you created that in the signatures in Apple Mail so I'm going to right click this and I'm going to open it in text edit if you don't have text edit available as an option here you can choose other and then pick it from the list of applications on your computer so choose text edit now it's important to leave these top lines in, in this document and not to get rid of them but we are going to replace everything between this body tag here and this body tag at the bottom here um, I did that by shift cl uh, clicking at the beginning and then shift clicking with my cursor at the end and I'm going to get rid of that content by hitting the delete key on my keyboard or the backspace key then I'm going to open the HTML file that I've been sent with my email signature in it and I'm going to do select all and copy that content and I'm going to go back into this text edit document and I'm going to paste that in there then I'm going to close that window close that window, we don't need this anymore I'm going to go back to Apple Mail and actually I'm going to quit Apple Mail and then relaunch it so that it picks up my new signature so quit and relaunch so now when we go back into preferences and into signatures my new signature is there. It doesn't matter that the images aren't showing in this preview, they will be showing when I use the signature. The final important step is to pick this signature and say which email account it is to be the default signature for. And I have to allocate it to that email account first. So I'm going to click on it here, I'm going to drag it over my short tech email. You might have lots of email accounts here or you might just have one and then when I click on this email account here I can choose it as a default signature in the footer here so I'm going to close that I'm going to compose a new email and I can send an email thanks very much and um, don't hesitate to Give me a call or get in touch with me, jazz at shorttech.co.uk if you have any problems. Thank you.